All right, now that we have our service areas calculated, let's talk about how do we want to symbolize this, create a map layout, and export that map layout as a PDF, all within ArcGIS Pro. Now, some of the skills are very much the same. For instance, um, if you want to change how layer names are attributed um, from things like you know, we had Madison underscore Rhodes. You can just simply click on it, and then you could type in kind of the alias name. So I could do Madison uh, Boundary, or I could just do Madison, uh, just something people would recognize without all the underscores or abbreviations. And so that that's the same, setting things up for your legend. Now, to get a new layout, you just simply go to Insert, and you can go to New Layout. And they have these pre-built templates here. Um, so I've already done that. I picked 11 by 17 for mine. Uh, you can do 8.5 by 11. You can do a larger one if you want, uh, since we'll be exporting it as a PDF. Once you do that, um, you go and insert a new map frame, and you can say default. It'll give you one in the center, uh, such as this one here. And then, again, very much the same as ArcMap. You can select it. You can make it bigger, make it smaller, um, that kind of thing. While it's selected, you notice you get some documents over here, so you could lock it, you could um, switch between map frames, you can make it visible, invisible, you can name it something. So if you have multiple, that way you can keep track of which ones are which. So you could say like main map versus key or uh, context map. You can go to display option, you know, do you want to constrain it? Is it fixed to the center scale? You can set all kinds of things there with the scale and whatnot. You could also go to change different border options, change the page size, margins, etc. All kind of here. Additionally, you also at the top get this format map frame idea here. And with that, you know, you can pick different things. So you could do shadows, you could do borders, and you can also change items here. You can align things. So if you had multiple things selected, you could align them left or right. Um, likewise, uh, when you're in your uh, layout space and you go to insert, you can get some differing options here as well. So ideas like you can insert north arrows, which I've done. You can insert scale bars, which I've done. Now, with the scale bar, you can, again, you can come over here and you can change things. So you can say, you know, scale bar. Uh, you can lock it. You can change different items on it, like how the borders are done, what the different gaps are, uh, what where it's located. You can change the text on it. So if you don't like the text properties, you know, you could go to... Know, the appearance and say well maybe I don't want Arial uh, I want you know Times New Roman and so I could pick Times New Roman I could hit apply and you can see it changes you know so you can change all those kinds of things you can make the font bold and smaller different colors whatever um, likewise at the top you also get other options so underneath say when the scale bar is picked, if you go to the scale bar tab at the top and design tab, you can change your unit. So it might come in defaulted to kilometers or meters. You can change it to miles. Um, you can change the frequency of the labels, label position, whether it's after the bar, below the bar, um, what the label is. You could make it all lowercase, uppercase, whatever kind of fits your style. Um, right now I have one division. You could up it to two divisions. Um, and then you'll just hit a enter or apply and that will take effect. Um, likewise, under the insert tab, you can do legend. And so there are some changes in the legend. So once you insert the legend, again, on the panel has a lot of options. So you can make the title word wrap. You can show the title. So you can say, hey, there's my legend. Um, you can sync fonts when adding things. You could adjust the font and column size, text symbols. Again, all that stuff's here. Now, also up in the formatting of the legend at the top, I uh, can do things like, um, oops, you know, change fonts, alignments. 
But one of the things I wanted to show is under the panel legend and display, put a background color. So you can see my Madison on this dark base map I inserted is white. White on white doesn't show up, so I could throw a gray color behind that so it looks somewhat similar. Now the order of these are determined by this little legend item here. And so I can drag these around to change the order. And you notice it updates over here. So that's how you change the order. It's how you also turn them on and off. So you can see I've unchecked a lot of the ones that I'm not using. And so I could uncheck the polygons, check the polygons, uncheck the roads, and it adjusts accordingly. So I think that's really good. Uh, to keep in mind as you do that. You can also, under the show on the panel on the right, you can turn off the group names and layer names um, and just have the headings and such. You can turn on or off the descriptions. Um, that's really up to you and what you're trying to communicate. In this case, I'm just trying to keep it pretty simple. Now, also going back to the insert, button I can put you know text or dynamic text things of that sort polygons pictures all kinds of stuff um, I think the last thing I want to do is just simply a mat a title so I can just say um, accessible bus st bus stops for Madison Wisconsin something simple and then when I'm done, I can make that going to the text tab in the format. I can change that to something that's a lot bigger. And so in this case, maybe I want Arial. And so I'm just going to go and type Arial. And maybe I'm going to make it bold. And maybe I'm going to make it a little bit bigger. I'll reposition it. All right, so that's my setup. I'm just going to save it. You know, you're going to upload something like this. And then I'm going to go to share under export, click the layout, and then you can export your layout and that'll give you a PDF. This is what you will upload to Canvas. Thanks.